Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spam. Fort Mead Fire and emergency teams responded to a two alarm fire last Sunday evening that destroyed two homes and damaged two others in the Potomac Place neighborhood. Five families were evacuated. Thankfully, no injuries were reported. In terms of damage, the two houses located at Fifth Corps Boulevard and Taylor Lane were destroyed. A third home sustained smoke damage, while the roof on a part of a fourth house was also damaged. The evacuated families are receiving counseling and aid from Army Community Services. If you'd like to make a donation, go to webtrack.nwr.mil slash donate. In other news, the fire on post highlights the need for paying attention to safety. Recently, the Installation Safety Office hosted its annual Safety Expo and kickoff of the 101 critical days of summer. We spoke with Installation Safety Officer Mr. Kirk Fector about what's hot for this year. We highlight this 101 days of summer safety. But additionally, this year, we have wellness and resiliency and I'm so happy to partner with them because a lot of safety issues are more than that. For instance, driving while intoxicated. A lot of times people talk about an accident, but no, it's not an accident. It's a crime, and it's also someone who has had problem with substance abuse, drinking and then putting himself in a deadly situation, not only for themselves, but for other people. And we know that by accident experience. So that general theme, we, we brought in all, we brought in safety people to talk about ex explosive uh, ordinance on this post, UXOs, unexploded ordinance. We have the wellness center director will, will be opening very soon. We, we have uh, health, such as occupational health. Uh, we have safety products, we have motorcycle safety. Uh, we have the chaplain here talking about resiliency, and so we're very proud to have that kind of a partnership. Meanwhile, next Friday, June 14th, the Army celebrates its 238th birthday. Here's a message from the Sergeant Major of the Army, Raymond Chandler, and his wife, Jean, on this year's celebration. Hi, I'm Sergeant Major of the Army, Ray Chandler. And I'm Jean Chandler, and we're here with our good friend from Sesame Street, Rosita. <laughs> We just want to tell you we think that Army kids are doubly special. That's right. Do you want to tell them why, Rosita? Absolutely, because Army kids get two birthdays to celebrate. That's right, your own birthday. And the Army's birthday. Mm -hmm. So we want to say happy birthday to you all. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. We're so proud of you. We love you. That's right, Rosita. Yeah. And we'd like to give a special shout out to all of our military personnel. And their families. And that's for all you kids and monsters too. To say thank you for your exemplary service. We could not be more proud of our men and women who serve and represent the Army every day. And also their families that support them and do so much. Yeah. So thank you. Gracias. Mwah. Besos. Bye. Bye. Adios. <laughs> Locally, the Fort Meade chapter of the AUSA or Association of the United States Army is hosting an Army birthday slash flag day observance on Thursday at 7.30 at Club Meade. This year's guest speaker is former Sergeant Major of the Army, Ken Preston. Once again, that's Thursday at 7.30 in the morning at Club Meade. Elsewhere, the United States Army Field Band Summer Concert Series got off to a wet start last night. However, there's plenty more left on the schedule starting next Thursday, June 13th, with the Concert Band and Soldiers Course celebrating the Army's birthday. The concert series continues every Thursday evening through the summer. The show starts at 7 p.m. at Constitution Park. The only exceptions to the Thursday concerts are the Jazz Ambassadors show on Wednesday, July the 3rd, and the series finale on Saturday, August 24th. The finale features the 1812 Overture, complete with cannon fire. For more information on the summer concert series, go to www.armyfieldband.com. One final note about the Army's birthday, Fort Meade is hosting a resiliency run next Friday, that's the 14th, from 6.30 to 8 at the McLaughlin Parade Field. All partner commanders and organizations, service members, civilians, and guests are invited to participate. For more information, contact Linda Winkles at 301-677-4719. And that's Meade Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Meade TV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Meade Week.